So we've seen the documentation for a NumPy function, but there's a really important feature of NumPy which is called arrays. So documentation also includes a lot of information about objects, classes, things like what is a list and what is a variable. And in NumPy's case, it includes documentation on what an array is. So we're going to leave you to create a markdown cell that explains some of the things we're about to discuss. But we're going to go straight to the NumPy documentation and search for an ND array, which is the class, that means it's an object type, that NumPy provides for using in Python. So there's a lot of information here. The key things really is that unlike a lot of variables we've been seeing, arrays can hold multiple variables, uh, multiple values, a little bit like a list. But importantly, a list can only ever be 1D. It can only ever have a list of things. But an array can be multidimensional. It could be a 2D image, or it could be a data set with lots of parameters. The other important thing is that it's homogenous. What this means is that Whereas a list could have strings and numbers in, a NumPy array can only have numbers. And they all have to be of the same type. So they all have to be integers, or they all have to be floats. Um, finally, I think it's important to understand that an array is a type. We discussed types earlier with variables, and we had integers and floats. An array is a type in itself, but it has a secondary feature, which is the data type. And the data type of a NumPy array is an integer or a float. Um, you can construct arrays with a multitude of functions. I think we're going to cover all of these throughout the course. And you can also look, scroll down to see notes about um, shape of matrices and dtype, which is the data type I was just mentioning, and examples on how to create them, use them. Finally, arrays have m attributes, which you can access in a similar way to methods with a dot. Uh, such as this one here, which is dot item size. And these give you information about some of the most important ones are things like shape, which will tell you the array of a multidimensional array, the dimensions of a multidimensional array. Arrays also have methods, which are just like the methods we've used in the past, like dot format. And we'll cover some of these later in the course too.